So this is a, an Atari Mega STE and I'm going to browse the web with it which may not sound impressive to you but I'll give you some brief specs about the computer if you've never heard of the Mega STE. It was built in 1991 by Atari of course. It has a Motorola 68000 processor, a 16-bit processor. This machine has the maximum memory installed, 4 megs of RAM and it has a 128 megabyte hard drive and since the Atari Mega STE does not come with an Ethernet adapter there are a few options and uh, one of the options is to get an external Ethernet adapter which is what I've got here this is the net USB um, that's the Ethernet cable plugged into the back and the two ports in front are USB ports so that being said, this is not a, this is not a tutorial, just a demo or a proof of concept. So first, I will turn the computer on. Oh, um, the monitor is only in monochrome mode. I don't have a color cable, so it's going to be only in monochrome. So first, let me turn the computer on. the Atari logo. I'll press the space bar to skip the test. And it's booted into what's called Gem. Let me turn off the light. And I'll show you the Ethernet adapter. I don't know if you can tell. It has Link. That means it's connected to my local router. I'm going to run a browser called CAB. I don't know what it means, but this version is an outdated web browser for Atari. Probably means something like Cool Atari Browser. When I mean outdated, it doesn't do things like JavaScript and uh, a lot of stuff like that. So I run CAB. And this is the default startup screen, which is just a local text file. I'll let that finish. Now, again, since this is monochrome, if I had a color monitor on this, or a color cable on this, uh, you would see this in, in color. So you go to File, Open URL. You have to type in the full http colon slash slash www.google.com slash you have to fully qualify everything and on the top it says receiving text formatting table and again like I said since it really doesn't do JavaScript uh, some of the stuff's not gonna work now it's loading the image and it has to render the image so I'll wait for that to finish. Today is Valentine's Day, so Google's doodle of the day is a Valentine graphic. And I can type in the text down here. And if I just type in Atari and then press Google search, you'll see what I mean how things don't work. And that's all stuff that this browser doesn't support that looks like a, a style sheet. Um, I think there's a newer version of CAB. This is CAB version 1.5. If I want to, I can go to another website. If you're familiar with Hackaday, they have their retro edition retro.hackaday.com which is supposedly friendly to older browsers unfortunately it sometimes has a lot of images and this thing takes a while to render the images Now, of course, 
with the net USB Ethernet adapter I don't have to just run a web browser there's a lot of other useful things uh, FTP clients and servers and other stuff that will actually make this useful and uh, I think there are if I were running mint um, I think there are newer web browsers that are a little bit more uh, support a little more features so it says converting image it's just taking a while because it's an 8 megahertz processor trying to render out GIFs or JPEGs or whatever Uh, well, maybe I won't wait. I don't know what it's taking. It's taking too long. So, anyways, I'm just gonna let that go. That pretty much shows you what it looks like. And as I said, this is an Atari Mega STE, which you probably can't see now. Uh, Atari Mega STE, circa 1991, running a Net USB Ethernet adapter, browsing the web using a browser called CAB. Okay, thank you for watching.